aftermath. This is the aftermath. The cleanup process has started. Here at the CNN, here at the CNN Center. As you can see, pretty much the, that's what it was the infamous skateboarder situation. Well, they was throwing shit like Nolan Ryan out that time. That thing boarded up now. Mr. Athman, I told you I had insurance there. Right, look at that boy. He on the phone with Geico right now. We bust up the wrong windows. I'm all in their conversation. I'm all in their conversation. They ain't talking about shit. I like to see people coming together, man, for a cause. All different nationalities. They know what they know what it is. They know what it is. Yeah, they bust this whole shit up. Should have like the end of the world type shit. Two step from the walking dead. Cleanup process has started in Atlanta. Anybody had something to say about me filming yesterday? You take your ass in a pandemic on a scooter. In the goddamn middle of a ride and you film sideways. It's funny. It's funny, but it's not. Man, hey, boy. They always got some to say. I always got some shit to say. Thank you. So does my wife. Oh, boy, talking about your wife? Maybe she does. Do, does not behave itself unseemly. Love does not behave itself rudely. So when this man bent over in front of me, that was very rude. That's not love. That's not bent love. Over. Yeah, I done heard the wrong. Love does not seek her I think that's what you're talking love about bent over. Selfish. Oh, wow. We can't talk love about that in Atlanta, fam. out of himself. Not in Atlanta. Pairs out. You got to say that speech in do. Alabama. We come out here, we sacrifice our time with our family. I could be at home. The cleanup myself. process has love, started. If you see people from all walks of life come together, I think we got every ethnicity out here. This is what it's about. That's what it's about. Man, they ain't touched them with them. They must have seen them. Hey, you know there's children out here. Be careful with your mouth. Freedom of speech, sir. That's right, that's right. You're right, you can say that, but I'm just saying there's kids out here, so just let's try to keep it clean. So, what else have to say about love? You got some Tupac over there? Love is not easily provoked. Love is not easily provoked. Speaking of Tupac, that boy got that pock on. That's what I'm talking about. And you have God's love, you don't easily get mad. You don't easily get provoked. That's true love. Love does not think any evil. And love does not rejoice in sin, in iniquity. So when you see rejoicing, like pride, proud of sin, this, the Bible is clear. It says that sins will go to hell. And one of those sins that Jesus mentions is homosexuality. Oh, Jesus oh said shit. in Matthew 19. What did nigga tell me? From the beginning, he created Excuse me. male and female. And for this what cause you shall a man leave his mother and father and be cleaved to his wife. This is what Jesus said. So don't get mad at the messenger, get mad at God. Get mad at God because he wrote this. That to you as well, sir, if you have time. Jesus, Jesus laid down what 
what marriage is between a man and a woman and nothing else. That's right, and he did give you a free will choice. That's right, sir. And he will judge you based on your choice. You are absolutely right. We all have a free will choice. That's right. And I'm not the condemner. I'm here telling you about the judgment. I'm not, I'm not here to condemn either. I'm here to tell you about the judgment to come, that you're going to stand before God, and you're going to be judged. That's what I'm here telling you. What about what about police brutality? How you feel about that? Police brutality is wicked. Yeah. You, so it's you, wicked. So you agree with Absolutely, it. Absolutely. It's wicked. Yeah. But so is abortion. And so I'd like to see an Damn. outrage at the abortion clinics where more babies are being killed in an abortion clinic than anywhere in the street. Mm -hmm. And that's where we go. We go to abortion clinics, even in the African-American community. We go to Forest Park and we preach at abortion clinics. Yeah. So, so all murder, police brutality, unjust murder in the street, killing the baby in the womb, it's all murder in the sight of God. We're not, try fact, on, we're not trying to talk sorry. about SpaceX and nothing right now. That's right that? now we're talking about one particular cause. As much as I agree with right, you on right, abortion. Well, well, we come out here all the time regardless of what yeah. is going on in Atlanta. We okay. come out here on a regular basis. This isn't just us coming out here in response to something. Yeah. This is us coming out here. Matter of fact, it's been shut down for a while, so we were anxious to get out here and preach the gospel. So it doesn't matter if there's a concert going on or if there's a march in the street. We like to be around people and love them enough to tell them the truth. Gotcha. Yeah. So it ain't, we're not out here just because of this event. You consistent with your message. Absolutely. All right, cool. Absolutely. Where else, where else you be at? Uh, besides right here. Uh, we'll go to Forest Park, abortion clinics. We go to Lakewood Amphitheater. I've been to... Uh, do you why is it just black abortion clinics? You know abortion is pretty widespread. Absolutely. So why you why are you targeting black? Why, why? We're not targeting them. No, I'm Absolutely. just saying name me Cobb okay. County. Do Can you I answer? do Can you I go answer? to Cobb County? Can I answer? Yeah, I want to ask you. Have you been to Cobb County Absolutely, abortion? Absolutely, I have. Where, where is it located? It's uh, it's right by uh the, that water park on Cobb Parkway. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Whitewater. Whitewater. Yep. There's a Planned Parenthood right there, and I've been there. You go to Buckhead too. Buckhead? Yeah. Well, Buckhead, Buckhead, there's nowhere to stand. Well, well you don't go to Buckhead. No, go to That's what I'm okay, talking about, I see man. where you're going with this. What I'm saying is, answer? is widespread. I'm well, not sure. even trying to Would do you, you like that. Answer? Go ahead. Okay, so. Is it, hold up, there's no playing family hood out here. Would you allow me to answer? Wait, is there a family hood out here? Hold on, I, I need to answer his and I'll address you. I, can I answer him first, please? Okay, so, so if we're going to let, let, let him talk. I want, I want to hear what he got to say. I'm curious. I can't have like 30 questions. No, go ahead. I'm curious. I don't okay. want to go ahead. So the reason why we go to that abortion clinic is because when we searched around for abortion clinics, there were already preachers there. So this was the only abortion clinic that we didn't see a preacher at. And there was nobody there. So the Lord led us to that abortion clinic, not because it's in the African-American community, oh, okay. but because it was the only one that was open. So how many, how many, how many okay. abortion clinics do you go to out in a suburb? I'm in a, a, in a I suburb. just told you, I've been you to the one. one. You said one. Yeah. Your, what, I, I, That's I'm, the only one I know. But, you, but you know what? Yeah. I have no way to fact check them live, so he can just make up numbers. Yeah, but, but, what, but what you're doing is, is you're, actually, you're actually trying to search something out. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, man. Just so you know. Spread your message, man. We don't target anybody. We preach at all events, whether they're white. Hispanic, I mean, I know. Just, he know the majority people, of the listen, people be here. There's no discrimination in the kingdom of heaven. Is that? Yeah, I don't like that he started out with Forest Park. <laughs> yeah, that's all I had to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is yeah. Women's health. So let me ask you. <laughs> Is it supporting women's health to kill a baby? I don't normally do pushback, but I felt a little bit. What up with you, bro? <laughs> Coming down, folks, man. You need to be down here. They need, they need foot soldiers. We don't need yeah. no more uh, people in the high office. They need foot soldiers. And that's what these kids need leadership. If you want them, if you want to lead them, you need to lead them by being here, not in your mansion in Eagle Glen. There you go. That's what's going on. No, that's what I'm saying. They want to lead. I mean, I saw Killer Mike. I saw T.I. That was nice and all that. But if they came down here last night, None of this might have happened. What needs to happen is they need to come down here and talk to these people. If they're going to be Calling leaders, them Killer Mike and T.I. and them to come down here. People. If they're going to be leaders, they need to be down here. They need to be down here. That's where they need to be. They don't need to be hiding behind the church, behind their mansion, behind their big houses. Get down here. Speak to these young people. That's what we're doing. We speak to them by working. They don't speak to them by talking. The old coach used to tell me a ton of talk weighs less than an ounce of ice. 
that's where we're at right now. We don't need no more talk. We need action. And the action is if they don't want these kids doing this again tonight, come down here. Support them doing lawful protests. And then if they get unlawful, talk to them. You don't preach them. You understand. There was no talking last night, fam. I had to talk with rocks last night. Well, this day two. We try to cover it again tonight, man. Don't worry about me. I'm being careful, but. The motherfucker scooter trying to take off. That didn't go right. This day two, so, man, but for real, man, people tired. Some people like, hey, man, that ain't the right thing to do. And I get that too. I'm on that side of the coin, but sometimes people don't care. They don't know what to do. They're like, fuck it, I'm gonna do something. You know what I'm saying? Cause don't nobody listen. That's what it feel like. You know what I'm saying? So, and if you're not black and you don't agree with this, that goddamn dog like he gonna bite somebody. He don't look trained. But yeah, if you if you if you're not black and you don't agree with this, you probably never will. It's kind of hard to make yourself something that you're not. You know what I'm saying? Hard to be in the shoes or pretend you're in shoes. So yeah, that's my piece on it. Day two. Peace. Yeah, you can have your full private plane Now your eyes open wide up in Paris Yeah, you ain't never been from the coast On a yacht to an island Yeah